Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Sarah, your friendly neighborhood word nerd. And on this channel, we like to focus on budgeting, books, and whatever else comes to mind. So if that sounds appealing to you, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell to be updated each time I upload a video and hit that like button if you so desire. Today we are going to focus on my weekly recap from this past week, which was January 2nd through the 8th. Um, it was a good week overall. I'm going to scoot you in so we can read this a little better. It was a good week overall. I didn't spend that much. Um, when I did spend money, I spent money. but um, So it wasn't like a whole bunch of little things that added up to one big thing. It was a few big things that added up to a moderate amount of money. Um, let me do that. There we go. So we're going to start off on the second. There we go. And I had a no spend. So on the first, I had a no spend. On the second, I had a no spend. On the third, I had a no spend. We had a really good start to the uh, month and the year. On the fourth, I decided to get breakfast because I didn't do any spending on the second and third, which means I also didn't do any grocery shopping. So there's a balance there. Um, so I didn't have any food for breakfast. <laughs> It's something that happens. So it was seventeen seventy three. That was also delivery, so it included tip and delivery charges. Um, it was under dining, and it was from my checking account. I had to purchase some things from Target. Um, basically, it was a split where it was groceries and then shopping for clothes that would actually fit me, so I could work out um, because I've been gaining weight so much lately that I needed to buy some new clothes for working out. Um, so that was out of my checking account as well. That was 97.05. And that was it for the fourth. On the fifth, I had Chipotle for lunch, which was 1987. And that was from the dining category using 0086, which is my credit card. I paid off my Amazon credit card, which was 79.44. That was from debt. And that was using, of course, my checking account. On the 6th, I had a no spend. So yeah, I had a really good week when it comes to no spends, <laughs> but I also didn't go to the grocery store. On the 7th, I went to Second and Charles and picked up a tote bag. Uh, that was 2303 and I paid cash. I finally went to Aldi and did my grocery shopping. That was 3249 for groceries and I paid cash. I also went, this was on Saturday night, so I went out that night at Tipsy Burrow. That was $16 for the dining category, and I put that on my credit card. And then on the 8th, I took it easy, and I just read and did crochet and watched YouTube videos and didn't do anything, including spending money. So overall, <clears throat> four no spends in one week. Uh, that's a lot of no spends. <laughs> So there was the balance, like I said, of having the no spend and then also having no groceries. But I was able, like most of the time, I was eating just leftovers and whatever we had in the um, in the kitchen. Just, you know, kind of going through the food that we had and making sure that it was eaten up. Because, you know, sometimes you'd have to do that where you just, you don't spend for the week, don't do grocery shopping, and you just go through and use what you have as much as possible and kind of get yourself to a better spot. The overall recap is dining was 53.60, groceries was 77.49, shopping was 75.08, and that was it. <laughs> Those are all the categories. So, it was it was a pretty basic week. Um kept it really simple and it, I feel like I was in a good spot for that so that I ended up in a better spot so that part's done let me reach over here and switch out what we're looking at here and I will also pull you back out a little bit and there okay now, in terms of monetization, let's do a little bit of a channel update. And checking my channel, 
right now. I have 213 subscribers and I have 661 watch hours. Neither of those are enough to get me to the next um, icon on my thing, so there's nothing to color in. So let's go on to the penny challenge. Let's see how much. I have a little bit of change in here. Not a huge amount. Okay, so we have a dollar fifty eight total. Let me grab my handy dandy calculator. Okay, so a dollar fifty eight minus one eleven equals forty seven cents, which is available and it's all the same color. So we've got all the same color going on here. That's pretty cool. So there's 111 and then 47. If you're new on this channel, basically what I'm doing here is I take my spare change and I have a one penny challenge where each of these is going up in succession. So it's one penny, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to a dollar twenty. And basically I just try to fill in all the bubbles and um, with my spare change, with however much spare change that I have. And we put that in Super Monkey. So Super Monkey needs to be fed. And here we go. And there we go. Super Monkey is happy for the week. He gets fed once a week on these weekly update challenges. And we're coming right along with the um, the penny challenge. My strategy is to take the highest one and then whatever's left is the next one. And um, so that's why today was $1.11 because that one was available. And then the next one from that would be 47 cents, which equals $1.58. And that's how much change I had. And at the end, when I'm done with this, it'll be 72.60. Although I already did cash out <laughs> Super Monkey. He, he holds about $40 in change, it turns out. Okay, so that's it. That's all we've got. Things have been pretty slow around here, so um, I don't really have much to chit chat about. And so we're going to make this a nice quick video so you can get on to the next one. Yeah, that's how we'll roll. So thank you so much for being here. If you've lasted this long into the video, I really appreciate it. If you're subscribed, you're awesome. And if you're not, then you're still awesome. But why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? You know, it helps the channel and it's completely free to you. So thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.